What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Cassidy and this is my planted paradise. So for today's video, I just wanted to show you guys how I make my own trellises for my Hoyas. Um, I'll also use them on other plants if they like need poles or something, but I don't think any of my other plants besides Hoyas are on an actual trellis. So for like my aeroids, I'll make my poles kind of the same way that I make my trellises and all the rest of my plants, my Hoyas get my DIY trellises. So I've made like some hoops. I've also got lots of ladders. I don't think I have any examples with me, but I just make them all myself. So basically all you need is just things you can find in the craft section at Walmart. Seriously, I just brainstormed one day and I was like, what can I do to make some trellises that will work but will also be cheap for my Hoyas? Um, and this has worked so far for me. So the things I use is going to be hot glue. You'll need a hot glue gun and some hot glue. You will need some jute rope or whatever you want to wrap your trellis in. I like to use jute because I do actually find that the Hoyas or other plants, the roots will like to grab into the jute cord. Um, if you're wanting to do hoops, like circle trellises, one great way of making them is going to be the embroidery hoop. So this is a six inch embroidery hoop I just got at Walmart. Or another thing you can do is get Sorry. <laughs> oh gosh, this is all tangled. Okay, you can get various sizes of these wire. I think these are actually for wreaths, like decorative holiday decor you put on your door, you know, to make a wreath. Um, wreath hoops. So I actually also use these um, for my hoops if I want circle trellises. Those also work great. Um, ow! Okay, if you're wanting to do ladders, I have done it with several different things, but what I found to work pretty great is these wooden dowels that you can find in the craft section. You can get packs of them, you can buy them individually, you can get really long ones. I don't know if you can kind of tell, but back here, this is just one ginormous craft wooden dowel that my Thai Constellation is on that I've wrapped in white jute rope. So I've just got various sizes. I like to use thicker ones for the outside of my ladder trellises and thinner ones for the inside for like the rungs to go up the ladder. You can also make them out of different size popsicle sticks. I've tried that as well. They're a little bit fatter and shorter so it's not as practical but it does still work. So you can do that and I've also found these like square rectangle popsicle sticks. I do like these for small trellises. So here's one that I obviously started and never finished that I was making out of those. So that's another way. And then you're gonna need, I like to use for my sticks to get them to stand up in the pots, I use this wrapped floral wire. So this is for like floral arrangements. You'll find it in the same section as the stuff for like the wreaths. Um, yeah, so it's just this wire. It's wrapped in some fabric and yeah, it's metal wire. <laughs> so I like to use that to get the stick part to stick down into the soil. Go sister, go. No, I have water right there. You gotta go. I know, great dog mom. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much all you will need, I believe. Obviously, you'll also need some scissors, and then you'll need something to actually attach the plant onto the trellis after you've made it. But that is it. So for attaching it onto the trellis, I've used the clips, like little hair clips, butterfly clips, before. But I also, right now, I think I'm out of the clips. So I'm just going to be using green Velcro tape. And yes, my dog has gotten a hold of it. That's why it's all warped. Imagine that. 
so yeah that's everything you will need and now I'll just go ahead and get started and make some trellises I do have a few plants that I want to specifically make trellises for so the first one is going to be this Hoya de Sientha, I think is how you say it so this is her she's super pretty but she also has these really long about two or three foot long tendrils that are just doing whatever they want so I think I want to make a round trellis a circle trellis for this I think I'm not sure but that's her um, and then I also recently imported this Hoya Viola from Thailand and it's pretty big and it has another long vine tendril this is still like acclimating to my space um, some of the leaves have started to firm up but some of them are still pretty flimsy if you can tell but like this one is firm so she's working on it I've got her in some DIY pond mix and she was just in water for a good week and a half to two weeks I believe so yeah so she's got some roots they don't look the best but the leaves have started to firm up so I do think they're at least doing something but anyways I want to get a trellis for this guy and then I was also thinking of possibly putting my Finlaysonii back onto a ladder trellis or something because she's got two long tendrils as well and they're just kind of hanging there so I think it would look better if it was trellised so that is the plan for today okay so to start I just get kind of a good size piece of the jute cord and I get it pre-cut so it's ready for me and then I've got my hot glue gun that's been preheating. I don't think it's gonna need that yet. So I'm gonna start with this circle hoop that I'm going to make a circle trellis with. So I always start at the base and work my way around all the way to the other side. So I just start with a big old dab of hot glue and seriously guys this is the easiest DIY trellis making ever and it does not take that much time whatsoever so then I just kind of pin down this jute cord as best as I can it wants to focus on my face not the cord and then I try to wrap around the end a little bit just to make sure it's fully fastened on there pretty well so that it's not going to just pull up really easily this is the bad thing about the circles is it kind of gets wrapped up pretty easily so that's why I just pre-cut a piece the shorter it is the easier it is to untangle but then it's also going to give you more ends that you're going to have to try to make sure are pinned down well so you kind of just have to find a happy medium so then after I have got it pinned I seriously will just go around and wrap the rest of the hoop in the jute I will add little pieces of hot glue after I've kind of gone a bit without any I don't hot glue the entire way around just because I don't really feel like it needs it if you wrap it tight enough and then put hot glue every two inches or so that usually does a trick for me so that is what I'm going to do all the way around the hoop.
Okay, so after I get to about this point where I'm at the end, this is when I'm going to get out my floral wire and I'm just gonna take one piece. For the embroidery hoops, I like to wrap it around the embroidery hoop, kind of cross it. I seriously just kinda wrap it around there. I try to make it to a reasonable height so I know if this trellis isn't that big, it, I'm not gonna need that long of a stick into the pot because the root system's probably not that big. So the other great thing about the embroidery hoops though is that, or not embroidery hoop, the floral wire, is that it is bendable so you can bend it down to any size. So after I've wrapped it around and twisted it up, I will then just twist the two ends together. Like so. So there she is, all twisted up. And now I will just take the remainder of my jute. If I didn't have any jute left, I would just cut off another small piece so that I can wrap around this part where the floral wire is. Just like that. It's nothing super fancy and I don't really care what this looks like. Oh, my cats, my cats, my cats. Jojo, go. It's nothing fancy. This is all that it looks like. But after this part is down in your pot or whatever you're putting it down into, I think this looks really nice and it's aesthetically pleasing. Just have a nice little jute hoop. So now let's get this put into one of these Hoyas really quick. Okay, so... I think I want to use this one for this Hoya Viola. So I'm actually going to unpot it and then pot it back with the trellis down in here because then the trellis is going to be more secure than just kind of jamming it down in there, kind of damaging the roots. That's what I like to do when I add trellises. You don't have to if you want to be lazy. I will not judge you. So this is what the roots are looking like. Like I said, I did just import this a couple weeks ago. So not fantastic, but not bad either. So now I'm going to take my trellis we just made, going to pop it down in there, and I'm going to measure this out. As you can see, it's going to be too long and that's gonna be standing up. So literally all I will do is bend the floral wire and now I can get it where it's going to rest right on top of this jar. So now that I've got her potted up with the trellis in her container, now we're just going to attach the tendril around this trellis. So you kind of have to fiddle with the leaves. I do try to make it to where the leaves are laying as natural as they possibly can, to where I'm not really trying to force the plant too much, but sometimes you kind of have to force it a little bit so just going to take small pieces of my chewed up velcro tape and we're going to start getting her on here so i'm going to start at the base right around here 
and then work my way around. So let's see. I'm tucking these back leaves behind the trellis because of how they're kind of wanting to lay. So then I feel like it gets a little bit more of a natural lay to it. And if a Hoya tendril is old, it is going to be harder to bend. I don't recommend forcing it. I would just get it as close to where you want it as you can and attach it there. The newer growth is easier to tame and bend around the trellis. So I've got my first mark right there. So we're just going to go around and finish connecting her, pulling her around, but I do feel a little bit of resistance right over here in this area. So I'm not gonna pull it too tight because I don't want to snap the stem. So we're just going to lay her on the top here. And we'll probably need one or two more pieces because the whole point is to kind of tame the tendrils so I don't want to leave this whole tendril just hanging there. So we're going to try to bring it around, make the leaves lay where they seem a little bit more comfortable, then fasten it. And then I'm gonna bring this tendril around. Might see if it will just lay up in here somewhere. We'll see. Ooh, I can just reuse this first piece to finish off the loop with this tendril. So let's get her in there. Okay, and there she is, our first newly trellised Hoya. So again, this is the Hoya Viola. She is still a little flimsy because I did import this from Thailand. So she's still acclimating, but I think it looks so cute with this like fan effect of all the leaves on this circle trellis. Okay, so I have gotten my stash of trellises that I have made out of my storage closet so I'm not going to make any more trellises for the video because I think you guys get the idea if you want to make a ladder I will simply figure out what I want the sides to be like which of the different rods that I use how big I want it based on how big the plant is and then I will figure out what I want the middle pieces to be. And I will literally just cut the dowels for the middle to however wide I want it to be. Then I hot glue onto there, wrap it with jute. <laughs> At the end, I'll wrap the floral wire around it again, twist it, and that's it. That's all I do to make my trellises. But I really don't want to make any more because I don't need any more. I have an abundance whether I just... Sometimes when I sit down to make trellises, I'll make several so I don't have to sit down and make them again. Or I will have already used them for a plant and I decided I didn't want it in there anymore. So then I end up with like stashes of them. I really like this one. I used a wreath wire hoop and then I put a dowel in the middle so then it gives this straight kind of design in it I think that's cute but anyways I want to pick one for each of these two Hoyas so I really think for my Finlaysonii I want to just do a ladder so here's the Finlaysonii that one's a bit wide I think that one would work so I think I'm going to use this one Okie dokie, so I am going to just kind of cram this 
splatter into my Finlay Sonii. Since it's in soil, I don't really feel the need to repot it, but the pond is a little bit harder to get into. And those roots are way more fragile at the moment because it is recently imported. So just going to push this in to where it feels strong. That feels good. So there she is in there. And now we're just going to fasten it up the trellis. So, oh, that's the wrong side. Because <laughs> look, if I do that, then the front of the leaves are going to be at the back of the trellis. So let's just pull that back out and push this back in over here. on the right side. There. That's better. Now, I can start fastening it. I always start at the bottom and work my way up to the top. And as you can see, this is actually going to be way too tall. <laughs> But I'm just going to wrap the trellis or the tendrils back down the trellis so that they aren't hanging everywhere. On this side, I'm going to just take this tendril and wrap it around. And there is my Finlay Sonii all trellised up. I think she looks really good and she's not hanging around anywhere anymore. So yeah, I'm really happy with that. Okay, so unfortunately the Hoya de Sayantha vines aren't really wanting to bend that well. So it looks like she's not going on a trellis and I should have trellised her sooner. But yeah, so that's going to be it for today's video. If you need any tips or tricks or help, just leave a comment and I'll be sure to reply on how to make your own trellises. Um, it's super easy. Get creative. Use things that you might have around the house or just really cheap things that you can find at like the dollar store or the craft section. Um, yeah, don't make it more complicated than it needs to be basically and yeah just have fun with it i think it's fun to try different shapes and try different things but yeah so there are the two hoyas that we trellis today so if you guys like this video if you enjoyed this kind of content just make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i am so happy to have you guys here if you want more content by me i will link my other youtube channel in the description down below and yeah, I think that is it for today. So I will just see you guys in my next video. I hope everyone has a wonderful, amazing day and week. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.